get in the Christmas spirit. Yeah. Welcome to Vlogmas day two. Um, so the plan for today is um, it's hair washing day, which is my favourite day. And Mario and I are going to go out for breakfast. We have we realised about three days ago that we hadn't gone out for food for a while. And then I went out for food yesterday, but I'd already booked a table for tomorrow. So we're going to a place called Annie's Burger Shack, um, which is a predom predominantly a burger restaurant. But they've started to do breakfasts, and their breakfasts are far better than their burgers. I'm on Avi. Um, they do like American style breakfasts because mm -hmm. the owner is American. So I'm quite excited and I don't really know what to have, but I'm short on time. So I'm probably going to leave the house with wet hair. These are annoying. It, I realized it yesterday after we for a while that the opening sequence had the thing showing. Um, and my tiny, tiny little boxes arrive from Amazon today. I hate buying from Amazon. But they deliver on a Sunday and I need it for tomorrow. Track your package. Um, but you all seemed to quite enjoy Vlogmas yesterday. You enjoyed what I was, what I shared with you, um, which pleases me greatly. So hopefully some more of that for the rest of the month. Because I quite enjoyed doing it even if it did take two hours to edit. Anyway, I'm about to go and put some makeup on so it looks slightly less horrendous than I do. Good morning. Good morning. On our way for breakfast. Should be good, quite hungry. I'm really hungry. I'm excited. What I had for dinner yesterday was quite a lot of grapes. I ate most of the grapes. I ate all of the grapes. And some chocolate snacks. And some chocolate snacks. It's Christmas, diets don't account at Christmas, right? Yes. I got huevos rancheros and Mary has got crab cake hollandaise which to me is a weird concept <laughs> crab for breakfast but I've already finished my pot of tea and I should have just asked for another one but forgot sad breakfast has been defeated along with six cups of tea and Mary had four cups of coffee so we are now ready to do some shopping even though shops don't open for another what, 10 minutes? Ten minutes? But that's okay. We'll have a wander around, we'll see what's happening, and get in the Christmas spirit. Yeah! I don't need more tea, but I'm going to get more tea, because I can get more tea. Blah, 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 blah. So we bought some tea, always, and now we're on our way to a Christmas market or like a little craft fair that's on. We love a craft fair. They're happening everywhere this weekend, but it's in Waterstones, which is a bookshop. So, yeah. So back from town. We bought some more decorations. I think our tree is almost done. The tree. Here's Mario in his lovely Christmas jumper. And then we're gonna have Advent opening fun times. Ugh. So I bought Mario the cheese advent calendar because ugh, um, Mario really loves cheese. A traditional sweet treat here around this time of year in the UK. It's called a mince pie. It's not got any meat in it. It's not that kind of mince. It's just like raisins and stuff. Mario enjoys a mince pie with cheese. But he also enjoys a Christmas cake with cheese, which is just like a very rich fruit cake. So I bought Mario a cheese advent calendar 
because he really loves cheese being the northerner that he is but i'm glad you all appreciated the cheese joke or some of you at least appreciated the cheese joke you arranged rearranging my decks yeah outrage i mean it's a fair point but i'm going to open my burn blend up and calendar day two today i've managed to avoid burn and blend's instagram story and so i have no idea what's in it and I haven't even checked the email. So I have no idea what's in it. Diddly diddly diddly. Ooh, mince pie! Mario loves mint, this mince pie tea. Fave. It's Mario's fave. We just bought a second bag of it. That's how quickly he's got through it. You need to make sure you buy a big tin of it before it disappears at Christmas. Um, so. I don't know if it's my favourite tea. It's a little too almondy for me. Um, and as someone who doesn't particularly like the taste of nuts, almond is not the the one. Um, but it is a black tea with cinnamon, almond pieces, orange peel, pomegranate flowers, and natural flavourings. Christmas wouldn't be Christmas without the homemade mince pies, the staple of the festive se season. Oop. Mince pie. But that was one of the teas that we bought when we went today to um, Burn and Blend. I also got a sachet of Snowball, which is one of my faves. But I might donate this tea to Mario. Because I'm a kind soul. You are. I am. You gonna come and do your cheese advent calendar? Yeah. Jeans! Oh, I need to open your advent calendar too. Yeah, you do. Maybe you can pass it to me. <gasps> you guessed wrong. Hey, damn. You damn. Damn. You damn. Joke. What hotel? Stop looking. Sorry, I'm sorry. What hotel do mice stay in? This is quite a good one. Can't believe this is a cheese joke. I don't know. The Stilton. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. <laughs> I love a cheese joke. Now, see, I feel like you should have got stilted on that day. I but I don't think that's one of the cheeses in there. Now I'm opening the advent calendar that Mary does for me. This is a new thing that you started to do. I'm getting too close to the camera. Because it keeps focusing on the mess behind instead of on my face. You're going to send a picture of it to me. <gasps> oh, a tiny chocolate! What flavour is the tiny chocolate? Oh, no. And a DIY gnome kit. I'm excited. Oh, maybe he'll get made this week. Maybe he'll get made today. Yeah, I thought he might. So we can have a tiny Scandinavian gnome. So cool. I'm um, just going to eat the chocolate now though. Oh my god, are they the salted caramel ones from Hotel Chocolat? Yeah. The salted caramel chocolates from Hotel Chocolat are the, some of the best salted caramel chocolates I've ever had. I'm excited. Thanks, my angel. It's okay. So it's tea time. I'm gonna have a snowball. This is going to look like my vlog is sponsored by Bird and Blend. It's not. I've just spent money there, a lot of it. And we opened our advent gift from my mum and dad that I mentioned yesterday. And in there, I got this giant mug. I can't, don't know if I can convey how giant this mug is. The mug, just, just believe me that the mug is giant. It's got penguins on and inside it's a little, little one thing, let it snow. So now I'm gonna have a giant cup of tea on top of the six that I had earlier. So I uh, just watched Gremlins for the first time because I was told that I needed to. I was also told it was a Christmas film bit of a stretch not a Christmas film but 
I'm glad I watched it. I kind of want a gizmo, gizmo of my own, but at the same time, quite a lot of responsibility. Because if you don't look after him right, it's kind of dire consequences. Nice chilled weekend this weekend. It's needed. For the tree. The tree. And we got soup on the go thanks to this one being the bee's knees. Aren't you? Yeah. This might not have been the most entertaining vlog for you all today. I haven't really moved from this spot on the sofa, but I have managed to knit, knit most of this mitt and I'm now doing the thumb. And Mary is doing some crochet. Ooh. He's making a hat, so that's quite exciting. Spoiler. There's no spoiler, it's okay. If you've seen the minion that's in the background of some of my vlog, um, then Mario made that for me, what, five years ago? Mm. Bless him, quite a key little crocheter. It must be longer than that now. It was on my year abroad. Yeah, almost seven, right? It was six years ago. Yeah, it's a long time ago. But yes. So we're having quite a crafty afternoon, crafty noon, um, while watching just started watching Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Quite enjoying it so far. Enjoy it so far? Mm -hmm, very much so. Good. But yeah, quite a boring day in the grand scheme of things, but a fantastic Sunday. Much appreciate it. Plus, I need to get these mitts knitted pretty quickly because I need to give them to the recipient this week. So it is now five to nine. Um, ooh, my hair is gone. That's the joys of just letting it air dry. Um, Mario has gone to bed a bit later than usual because on a Monday he starts later so he doesn't have to get up till half past five, six-ish. He gets a little bit of a lion. But um, I finished the Ridgeview mitts. Well, I say finished. I need to weave the ends in and block them. Um, but I knit them out of acrylic so maybe I'll just pin them and steam them with the iron because um, I don't think soaking is going to do a whole lot. But... They're made for someone that's got bigger hands than me. So I knit them a bit big and take the ring off. Because it catches on things. Do, 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 do. Ow, I just punched myself in the boob. Um, hang on, let's get these ends out of the way. Ta -da. So these are the Ridgeview mitts. Um, I found this via the Making Things app, which I am a fan of. It is by Kerry Knits. Oh, hi, Becky. I'm just chatting to Becky. Um, they are also on Ravelry, but it uses sport weight yarn. Um, I just used... So sport weight yarn isn't a thing that exists in the UK. I'm talking to you about them now because I'm having to... It's the person's birthday this week, this coming weekend, so I'm having to gift them before the next podcast so I'll talk about them now um we live on a main road sport weight yarn isn't readily available in the UK but I'm using stylecraft special DK which is double knit and it's 295 meters per 100 grams um which with my what my research tells me is basically sport weight yarn. So I used this on 2.5 millimeter needles. So it's incredibly like squishy. And I really enjoyed this pattern. It's good. Um, I've, um, so you've got like, called it mock rib, but I thought it was broken rib. But you've got broken rib, rib that travels and then you've got a fun little gartery bit and it's got it in four different sizes. So I knit the large size. Um, I've got quite small hands. The person that I'm giving them to is slightly taller and has bigger hands than me. But I've tried them on Mario and they fit him. He says that they feel snug but not tight. And that's quite nice because that's what you want from a mitt. But yeah, and this is just in the colour 1128 charcoal. And it's just some leftover. I bought them when I was making dice bags and selling them, which 
didn't go well, obviously. Um, but now I can make really fun mitts with them. So it's just like a grey and it's like mulled with a light grey and I need to block them because my ribbing's very uneven. But yeah, glad I've got these done. Um, I'm just plowing on through with the gift knits. This is what's happening right now. Um, but I basically knit one full mitt this evening or this afternoon. As you seen it's been a very chilled out relaxed day and I have appreciated it I just want to I know I don't want to keep harping on about it I just want to extend a huge thank you to everyone who placed orders who's signed up for my very first yarn club for those who don't know I'm doing a yarn club come January once a month in colours inspired by the campaign one of Critical Role. If you don't watch Critical Role and you're a fan of Dungeons and Dragons, I much recommend. It's very entertaining. Um, I'm very behind on the current campaign, so maybe this week whilst I'm... Oh, I'm dying this week though, so maybe not. But um, I'll try and do a bit of catch up, maybe with headphones in and on the podcast or something. But yeah, I just want to say a huge thank you because I'm not going to be able to knit these tomorrow because I've got many many orders to package and yarn to start dying and then they, I need to gift them on Tuesday so I'm really glad I was able to get these done but I just need to weave in the ends which a lot of you know I don't mind doing at all um, and then block them tomorrow maybe I'll steam block them has anyone wet block acrylic before let me know this is the joys of vlogging every day but I think that's going to be, oh my goodness, look at this hat that my mum knit Mario, BT dubs. Oh, she knit it in the round, I was looking for the back. It's a Christmas pudding hat. My mum knit Mario a Christmas pudding hat. This is the second one that she's made him. She made him one before. Um, but he had it in his coat pocket and his coat got stolen after a night out, which is a shame because it was a really nice coat. That, um, I don't think he'd be wearing it still now in all fairness. But it had, so yeah. It wasn't a recent thing, the, the coat being stolen. It was while we were at university still. And it happened to be when he was doing his PGCE. And I, it was the same weekend that I happened to be visiting him. What a, coin, what a coincidence. But yeah, it's been a really nice day. It's been nice just hanging out with Mario. And just spending some time together. Because, um, like, we do spend time together quite a lot. But it was just nice just existing in each other's company. You know, I'm just going to do one of these. And going out for breakfast was nice because then by the time town started to get busy, we were done in town so we could leave. Um, but we bought some more decorations for the tree, which was nice. I think we're pretty much there with the tree. I want to knit some little birds of happiness or blue bird of happiness or whatever they're called. Uh, people that have knit those, question, do you use four ply yarn, fingering weight yarn, or do you hold it double? Um, because it's a worsted weight pattern, so just wondered about that. Um, and then we need to get something for the top because our tree is so still topless, which is quite scandalous. Um, but yes, it's been a really good weekend. Let's hope this good run continues. And no, I'm not going to be able to wear a different Christmas jumper every day, but this is the Christmas jumper of today. I love it. And I'm stretching now because that's what's happening. Oh, okay, right. I'm going to stop talking because I need to edit this vlog and get it uploaded and whatnot. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.